One of the really important elements of, of getting services under IDEA, under the federal law that provides early on and also provides special education, is that parents have rights. All those rights are contained in a, in a packet of information that a parent gets called procedural safeguards. It is a description of all of the rights that parents have, including their right to participate, the right to get notice, the right to have that second opinion or what's often called an independent evaluation the right to challenge or disagree with what a, uh, a provider or a school district might do. The early on provider or the school district, depending on who you're working with primarily, is responsible for making sure that you have a copy of those. If you're not sure uh, whether you have a copy of your procedural safeguards, well, ask for one. And uh, then if you look at it and you're not sure what it means, um, if you look at it and say, this is all written in legalese and I don't understand this, what does this mean? Uh, feel free to um, ask your provider or to call Michigan Protection and Advocacy Service and ask us and we can try to explain those for you. So what happens if, the, if uh, you have an individualized family service plan that has services, that has transition elements, that has the natural environment, and, that, and those things are not being done? Where your service provider says, no, we have to provide the service somewhere else, uh, says, no, uh, we can't provide that service. No, we can't provide this kind of transition. What do you do? One thing I suggest to parents that if there is something in their IFSP that's not being provided is first try to work out the problem informally. If you can't do that, you can ask for mediation. Mediation is a free service that's offered through local mediators paid by the state, so it's at no charge to you or to the provider. A trained mediator can get involved in your situation and help you work with your provider to resolve your dispute, to come to some kind of agreement about what to do. If you can't do that, there is a formal complaint process that you can use uh, where you can write a letter to the State Department of Education and the state will investigate your complaint and within 60 calendar days will come back with a finding as to whether or not the program that is providing the services followed the law and making sure that what was written into that IFSP was actually done. If the parents have questions about the complaint process or about any other dispute resolution, uh, they're welcome to call uh, Michigan Protection and Advocacy Service. We have a toll-free number, 800-288-5923. Uh, we have advocates available uh, to answer your questions during the week. If you want to send us an email or uh, you can send us a text, uh, we also have a website, mpas.org. We have information materials that we can send you. We'll talk with you. You'll actually get to talk with a, uh, with a live person, uh, not a phone tree. Um, and uh, we'll try to give you as best advice we can um, on, on how to resolve your dispute.